Hello everyone, this is Professor Nelson from Electronics. Today we're going to do a rather unusual experiment, which I'm sure many of you will find interesting. For this, we'll need two phone chargers. Like these here. These are quite different cell phone chargers. One of them is a normal or standard charger. It can deliver 5 volts with a current of 1,500 milliamps. This is a normal or slow charger. However, this one is a fast charger. It can deliver 5 volts at 3 amps. It can also deliver 9 volts at 2 amps. And it can even deliver 12 volts at 1.5 amps. Therefore, this charger can deliver not only 5 volts, but also up to 12 volts. And the question here is, what do you think will happen to the devices we connect to these chargers? Could they be damaged, or will they remain intact? And what kind of equipment am I talking about? Well, this kind of device. For example, here I have two flash drives, one regular one, and one with its adapter and micro SD card. What do you think will happen to these devices if I connect them to cell phone chargers? Especially this one that can deliver up to 12 volts. Or if I connect other components like a mouse, a keyboard, or even other devices. So, if you want to understand and see what could happen to them, I invite you to stay until the end of the video to see all this and more. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is check the condition of the chargers. To do this, we connect the charger to a phone. And as you can see, it's charging. We connect it to the other charger. And we see that it's charging and that it's also a fast charger. Very good, the chargers are working correctly. Now let's test the flash drives first. Okay, let's put the first one in. Now we put it in the fast charger. And now we're going to connect this one only to the slow charger. That way we'll know which charger could damage your flash drive. Remember that this one can deliver up to 12 volts. Okay, now let's test the flash drives. As you just saw, the computer just recognized it. We open the flash drive. And here are the files on the flash drive. And we see that it's working fine. Let's test the other flash drive. Let's wait a while. And it's been recognized. Here it is. Now we open it. That's strange, it just closed. We opened it again, and there it was. 
Well, the flash drives were intact. They weren't damaged. So now let's move on to testing other devices. Now we're going to connect this mouse. First, with the slow charger. And we can see that the mouse is on. Now we connect it to the fast charger. Don't forget that this charger can deliver up to 12 volts, which could damage the mouse. But in this case, apparently there aren't 12 volts, because otherwise the LEDs would have burned out. It seems the mouse is fine. Now let's connect a keyboard. First, we connect it to the slow charger. In the case of the keyboard, we have three LEDs. One of them is for the numeric keypad, which doesn't light up. The other is for the uppercase letters, but it doesn't light up either. We move on to the other charger. The LEDs don't light up either. It's as if it's not powered. Okay, let's test if the keyboard and mouse are in good condition. For this, we'll use the computer. First, we connect the mouse. And as you can see, it has been recognized by the computer. And it's working without any problems. Now, let's connect the keyboard. You can see that the LEDs are lit. Both the numeric keypad and the uppercase letter keypad. Let's type some numbers. and some uppercase letters. And as you can see, the keyboard is working, there's no problem. Therefore, you don't have to worry if someone accidentally connects a flash drive, mouse, or keyboard to a cell phone charger. I mention this especially because of children. Remember that children are the ones who put things where they shouldn't be. Okay, now let's look at some theory to understand what's happening and why our devices aren't getting damaged. All right, now some theory. In the first case, we're using a slow charger. These usually deliver five volts. Let's see why. This is the circuit board of a slow charger, which are generally much simpler. That is to say, they don't have many components because they only deliver a fixed voltage of 5 volts. And they usually only use two pins to deliver power. Those two pins, positive and negative, connect to the USB connector which only uses the negative and positive terminals. That's why they always deliver 5 volts.
In the case of the fast charging charger, its operation is different. For example, here I have a 5 volt fast charger and a 9 volt fast charger. The operation of this type of charger is much more complex. They have more components, therefore their operation is slightly different. Especially because this type of charger can vary its voltage depending on the signals received on the electronic board through the data pins of the USB connector. That is, it's not just the positive and negative terminals that are used, but also the data pins. These data pins are generally connected to an integrated circuit, which must receive specific information. This information tells the circuit board to increase the output voltage. If it doesn't receive this data, the output voltage will remain at 5 volts. And that's why our flash memory, keyboard, or mouse weren't damaged, because they don't send that information to the integrated circuit. Therefore, the output voltage will always be 5 volts, even though the charger can deliver a higher voltage. That's how our chargers work. Keep in mind that these types of slow chargers work the same as fixed power supplies. Like this one, which is 12 volts. Its voltage will always be the same, however, the current draw will always depend on the load or the phone. In the case of these, their voltage can vary, but they will always need a data point or a signal to change that voltage. But keep in mind that there are others that don't use integrated circuits, but rather resistors. Alright guys. That's the end of the video. Now, don't forget, if you liked the video, a like really helps the channel. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.